Hello everyone. We'll now see a small demo on setting up JAX RS, the API that I talked about in the introductory session. With the help of this API, we can develop uh, RESTful web services using Java technology. And it provides uh, a rich collection of API interfaces, annotations, a lot of customization options. It's a wonderful API, production ready, very popular API. Uh, as I was talking about during the discussion, we can use alternatives like Spring and others. But for this demo, we'll be using Jersey, which is the reference implementation for RESTful web services using Java technology. Uh, how do we get access to Jersey? Uh, the URL Java, Jersey .java net. This is the site from where we can get access to the latest build of the same. And let's go ahead and quickly download the one that we need right now. We can always start with the recent version. As of now, as we can see, it's 2.25.1. Now we can uh, start using the Maven approach uh, for uh, setting up a new project. Uh, but for simplicity, I'll be downloading the whole bundle. You can see this link will provide me a zip with the help of which I will get all the necessary jars together available to me. So all I need to do is just get them copied into the projects library folder and start developing an application. What are the Maven dependencies needed? There's good amount of documentation available on this. Maybe in some another video, we will talk about the same in detail. So I've got Jersey downloaded. Let's get the same extracted as we will need the libraries shared by Jersey to be copied into our project that we'll be creating. So wherever in our file system, we'll extract the same. And uh, as you can see in my case, it's already been done by now. We can see the necessary jars required for using JAX RS are the same. So we'll have, we'll need all of them. Now, since we are new to JAX RS, it will be very difficult for us to pinpoint which jar is needed, which one is not needed. Uh, we will talk about them in detail later on. Uh, as of now, what is important for us to understand is the basic setup. So we will we'll not worry about any individual jar right now. We'll take up all of them and set up the project, get some working code. And as our understanding improves, then we can discuss more about the dependencies and the setup and the importance of all these libraries that we are application code is depending upon. So now I'm going to go into Eclipse, create a new project, a new dynamic web application. Uh, we need some server. I have already set up Tomcat. I'm sure uh, uh, with an understanding that you already know how to do the same. It's very easy creating a new server configuration in Eclipse. In my case, I am using Tomcat 8. We can use a lower version of Tomcat also if required. Uh, so anything will do. We can use alternative servers like JBoss and others as well. So let's go ahead and create a new dynamic web project. Give some name to it. So just a simple one to begin with. Let's say call it as Jax RS starter. The Tomcat server that I have configured uh, will select the same. The version of uh, Java version of a uh, servlet API doesn't matters. 3.1, 3.0. We'll go with whatever defaults we are able to see over here. We can directly click on finish. As such, the options on the next screen not so important right now. So we'll get the standard structure for a web application ready. Uh, the dependency jars that we need, we'll copy them into the lib directory. So let's do the same. We have downloaded JAXRS. Now it's time to copy the required jars. So I'll uh, take up them from those folders individually. So I've got the core JAXRS API, uh, all the extension API classes. And finally, the important jars of Jersey. Great. So we have got all the required jars now and it's time to now start writing some code. There's not much of a setup we have to do. That's the best part with this uh, pre-configured environment and this basic step that we saw. Very easy for us now to go ahead with. Let's create a new class. The first step when we create a new project in which we want to use JAX RS, the RESTful API for Java, is to start with some application class. So I'll, I'll start with some package name. So for example, com dot app. Keep it simple. Let's call this class as a my rest app class. Now this is the first step. Now this class which we will be creating is only needed in the beginning of a project and uh, some importance of this class and all. Yes, it's, it's like as we go ahead, we'll talk more about it.
So what we need to do in this class is extend this from the application class provided by JAX-RS. So the package that we will be importing javax.ws.rs.core. Now generally when you write a class and you extend another class the tendency would be to override some method but for this example we don't need to override any method as of now in this class. All we need to do is annotate this class with an annotation called as application path and we'll give some path to this application. For example, let's call it as slash app. So any JAXRS application uh, needs to have a class called as an application class. Uh, the primary role of this class right now will not be very clear to us. Uh, I need to give spend some more time discussing about the importance of this. As of now, we'll just follow it as a step that is needed to get a working example. And once our understanding improves, we'll come back to this. Uh, what we have decided over here in this annotation is a URL which will be needed for accessing the classes that we will be creating in this application. So think about this as a servlet mapping in traditional web.xml terms. So you are going to do some mapping in an XML file where you decide a URL pattern. This is somewhat the same. Now it's time to create our first web service. So this was just a preliminary step, pre preliminary step which we had to follow. Now it's time to write a code which looks like a web service. So let's create a class. If you remember during our discussion that we had done, uh, we had said that the naming convention that we will follow uh, is resource. So keeping that in mind, let's give this file name uh, hello resource.java. So RESTful web services generally would follow this naming convention. Now what do we do in this class? We use again some annotation. This time the name of the annotation is path. Again some URL which we will be using it for accessing this code from the client. Next, we need to write some method which will execute for any incoming request using the get method of HTTP protocol. REST web services, uh, if you recollect, it's all about writing code on top of HTTP protocol. Get, post and all the methods of HTTP protocol is what we need to concentrate on. So let's write a small method which will execute when the incoming request is uh, done using the get method of HTTP protocol. This method will return a string. Method name can be anything. Just let's return a welcome string. Welcome to JAXRS. You can see how easy the coding is. Really, there's uh, no specific formal declaration of any method or anything that you have to follow. Just annotation style programming which has become very popular. So yet another framework which promotes it heavily. The method names and all can be very, very flexible. There are a lot of arguments you can take in those methods. We'll see those options later on. Return type of the method can also vary depending upon how you're writing the code. For the simple example, we'll be returning a string. And what we will do is we'll provide more information about what we are returning using an annotation called as producers. So let's say we are going to return some plain text because whatever this return type indicates, basically it's all about telling the client that if you're going to invoke this service, this is what you get back in return. So I'm telling my client that I'm going to send you some plain text and there you go, that's the text, welcome to JAXRS. That's it. This is how you write a web service using JAXRS. Basic annotations to remember are path annotation. Any web service class will be identified using a path. And what will a web service contain? Different methods and they will be executed on top of HTTP methods like get and post. Now, this is a very simple example, yes. When we do better examples later on, we'll see how do we take input and based on the parameters passed, then we accordingly return output. We'll also see how do we support JSON and XML later on in a different demo altogether. Now, what do we do next? It's all done. There is no configuration, nothing at all. So Jersey is one of the framework which promotes a zero configuration policy. You don't have to do any kind of XML configuration to get this example working. It's all ready. It's just that we have to go and get this example deployed and we should be very soon be able to see the output of our hello world code. So let's go and run this application on the server. Uh, quick restart of the server if required. Okay, not to worry about this 404 page that we are seeing because Tomcat is searching for the index page and we don't have any index page. Now what we are going to do is the paths that we mentioned in our Java code starting with the path in the application class. So we are going to append slash whatever path we gave in the application class followed by the path we gave for the hello world code. 
so followed by slash hello and if things go well we should be able to see the output of our simple web service code that we have written great so you saw there was hardly any effort we had to take and this is nothing but like the ease of using all these technologies which are so popular nowadays as you can see uh, jersey has made it so easy for us to develop an application using jaxrs this api for developing restful web services using java thanks a lot everyone uh, i'll see you in some another to uh, video and we'll talk about the options that we explored in this in more detail thank you so much everyone all right so i hope you got uh, how this example works we'll talk more about all these options a bit more in detail later on okay so that's it for this video we'll see in a different video the various options that we saw in this example a bit more in detail goodbye for now